Can you, I mean, think about this. As a Muslim, my whole life, I believe that God sat on his throne and he would never enter into this world and he ruled us from above and he gave us a bunch of things to do and he would judge us at the end of time. But this story is that God was willing to enter into this world in a filthy world. And he was willing to, to live as a carpenter, blue collar laborer. And he's willing to live with people who would ultimately betray him. And then he's willing to go to a cross and suffer and die for the sake of sinners. Our God who created the universe, all the stars in the sky, he just thought them into existence. That God is willing to die. And as he tells us that he loves us so much, he's willing to die for us, this is what he says. As I have loved you, so love one another. So what I am is a human being, that's my being. Who I am is Nabil, that's my person. The two are not the same thing. All of us in here shame, share essentially the same type of being that we are. We are human beings, but none of you share essentially the same kind of person that I am. We're all different persons. So the characteristic of a being is very different from that of a person. God, so I, I am one being with one person. God is one being with three persons, Father, Son, and Spirit. Is there anything like that on this earth? No. But does that mean God cannot be one being in three persons? Absolutely. It means he can, he can be that if that's what he is. There's no way we can know these deeper things about God apart from revelation. It didn't take me long to get to Matthew chapter 5 where it says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And when I saw those words, it was like electric on the page. And it like jumped off the page and started my heart. That's what it felt like.